Hello guys and welcome to the series of shell scripting. In this video, we are going to talk about if else, nested if else, true and false command and along with that we will create a user creation script using if else concept. So let's begin. First of all, if else is a shell feature which allows different block of code to be executed based on different conditions. So you can execute one block of code if the condition is true and another block of code if the condition is false. Now before we use the if else in our shell script, let's look at its various variations. One thing to always remember is that in Linux or in shell scripting, zero is taken as a true while the non-zero values are taken as a false okay now let's look at the various variations of if else so first of all we have if then we write the condition okay if the condition is true then these statement will be executed okay note that if then and writing here fi is compulsory now for example if i simply write here in place of condition that is square bracket one equal one then this will be evaluated to the true statement or it will return me zero okay we had talked about these square brackets in previous video in detail right so this particular statement will return me zero and it will be evaluated as true okay now the zero will be taken as true and if this condition is true then we know that these statement will execute right similarly let's see another variation in which we write here condition so in place of condition i can write here let's say one equal two okay and if this condition is true then these statement will follow and if this particular condition is false then these statement will execute right currently this particular condition is false so these statement will be execute now if this particular condition is true for example if the condition might be one equal one in that case the condition is true so these will be executed in those cases the else block will not get execute so in the above it was only the if and in the below it is actually if else okay after that we have other variations also like nested if else in nested if else we can use the concept of if else inside another if else block okay for example currently if you see if the condition is true then these statement will execute if the condition is false then it will again check for another condition okay so this if is inside the this else block right and if this condition is true then again these conditions these statement will be execute and we have to close this with the fee okay so whenever i am writing here if i must have to end with the fee right now the same thing could also be achieved in this way okay notice that here i was writing else and then i was writing here if instead of this we can combine it into a single statement so i had written here only l if okay so this particular condition we can write here okay and also remember that whenever you are using the l if in that case you don't have to write the fee okay so if you are using if only then you have to write here fee and if you are using the l if then you don't need to write here fee again okay this particular fee is written due to this if statement now let's look at another example so here we i had written here if then the condition if the condition is true then it will execute statement one two right then inside the else i am using here if then if this particular condition is true then these statement will be true and if this particular condition is false then these statement will be executed okay since i am writing here if so i have to end it with the fee okay but here if you see the same thing i had written here using the elif so if the condition is true let's say this particular condition gets true then these statement will get executed and if this condition is also false then these statement will be executed okay note again that when i used here elif then i don't need to write the fi for it but after that let's create a script in which our first task is to find out that whether the given user name exists or not so before making the script we should know how we can know that whether a user exists or not right so for that we can use the simple command that is id and then give the name of the username for example if i write here wiki then if the proper output is coming and the exit status code is zero it means that the user is exist okay and if i write here any random username let's say user 50 in that case 
it will return us no such user and the exit status code will be the one right so if you want to find out that whether a user exists or not in that case you can simply use the id command and then try to find out its exit status if it is exit status code is zero it means the user exists right so now what i will do we'll create our script now i'll go to the documents and i'll create a file that is let's say user okay and i'll give also the executable permission to it and now i will open it first i'll write here shebang and interpreter program that is bash program and after that i will ask the user to provide me some user name okay so i'll ask user enter or i should write please enter the user name okay and i will store this into a variable that is let's say uh, user name right and after that i'll run the command that is id dollar username and after that i need to check that whether the exit status code written by this command is zero or not so for that i can write here if then square brackets i'll write here dollar question mark to find the exit status code and then equals to zero okay if it is equals to zero that means we have to write here the user exists okay so i'll write here the given user dollar username exist in the system and after that i have to close my if block so i'll write here fee right and at the end i'll simply write here execution of script is completed so i'll write here execution now i'll save it close it and i'll go to the documents in this particular window right so first of all i'll clear go to the documents and i'll execute our user script right so let me open the user script here so here parallelly i will open our script that is user1 and the first statement you will see it is asking me to write the user name okay so i'll write here user50 okay after that it will run that command that is dollar username okay so if i press enter it will say it is executing this particular command that is id user50 and giving me the output that no such user and after that it is executing the final line that is execution of a script is completed okay now i'll again execute this script that is user and in this case i will give the user that exist in my system which is wiki okay then it will run the id command and it will see say that the given particular user wiki exist in the system now one thing that i don't want is this particular output in that case what i can do here i can simply redirect the output to the dev slash null okay dev slash null in that case our output will not be shown in the screen okay now if you don't know about this input output redirection operators then you can watch out the video on standard input output redirection in linux series so now the output of this particular command will not be shown in the screen and one more thing is that if the user exists if the user exists then i am writing the given user exists in the system but i can also use the else block here and if the user doesn't exist in that case i'll write here the given user dollar username does not does not exist in the system right so i'll save it and now i will again execute our script okay so let me clear it and now if you will see that it will be much more cleaner so i'll write here let's say first of all wiki which exist here so it is giving me the given user wiki exist in the system let me try another user let's say user 50 in that case it will say the given user user 50 doesn't exist in the system so that was our first part is to find out whether the user exist or not now in the second task we need if the user doesn't exist in that case i need to add the user in the system okay now if you know that for adding the user we generally use the add user command or user add command okay for this video i will be sticking to the add user command okay after that i need the name of the user that is user 50 okay and i have to run this with the sudo privileges so if i press enter it is asking me to write the password so i can write here any password for instance user 50 and user 50 right and then it will asking me for the writing the full name 
let's say user 5 any room name any work form any home number and in other detail also anything right and this information is correct yes okay but when i'm executing my script i don't need this interaction to be happened in that case you can use the option here as geckos okay that is dash dash g e c o s right and then you can give the comma separated values of these parameters okay for example i can write here for user 15 the name the full name should be user 51 and the room number let's say 888 the work phone let's say 123 the home phone let's say 654 and the other information let's say nothing okay in that case it will not give me this uh, in an interactive way so if i press enter you will see it will only ask me to write the password okay so for password i'll write here user 51 and user 51 right and even if you see our password file that is cat slash etc password and i'll grab our user 51 then you will see the full name information and the other information has been given by the geckos option itself now as the next challenge i also don't want the user to get this particular prompt that is writing the password so for that what i can do here first i can use the option here as disabled password so i'll write here disabled password okay and then if i press enter so this user already exists so i'll write here let's say 52 and it is not going to ask me any particular password here okay now to give the password you can use another command that is ch password command right but before i talk about that we also don't want this particular output to be shown right so in that case you can redirect the output to the slash div null okay in that case the output will not be shown to you and i'll do it for the user number 53 okay user 53 right so no output has been shown now and even the user has been created in our system if i grab it grab 53 then the user has been created now since in this particular case i am disabling my password so i'll have to change the password also for that you can simply use the command that is ch password command okay so i can write here sudo ch password and then it will ask me to write the username and password with the column separated so i can write here user 52 let's say colon and the password name as user 52 okay so if i press enter and then if i cancel it then the password set for the user 52 will be the user 52 okay so if i want to log in here with the user 52 i have to write the password as user 52 okay same thing you can also achieve with another form that is writing in this way that is user 53 and i'll give the password here as user let's say 513 okay 13 right and i'll send it to the standard input to the ch password command so this particular method we will be going to use in our shell script right so now we'll go with the shell script currently if the user doesn't exit it is executing these block of code right so once we are in this particular block of code i wanted to write here echo user creation for dollar username is started okay is started and now i will ask the user to write the password okay please write password for dollar username okay and instead of echo here i should have used here read okay i'll use here read and then dash p okay and dash s option okay dash s option i am using so that whatever the user is giving the input it should not be shown in the screen right and then i will store the value in the user password variable i have to check another thing is that if the user password length is zero then in that case i don't want to create the user in that case what i will do i will simply write here if okay dash n the checks for the non zero string and i'll write here dollar user pass okay if the length of the password is greater than zero in that case this condition will evaluate it to true okay so if this particular condition is true 
then I need to create user otherwise what I need to do I'll have to write here echo the password length should be greater than zero okay. and after that I'll write here another fee okay why I'm writing here another fee because I'm using here if so I must have to write fee here okay but now if the password length is greater than zero then I'll write here creating user but before I execute our script I will write here colon to make it little cleaner and also I will put it inside the double quotes okay now I will save it and execute our script okay so I'll write here dollar slash user and now it will ask me to enter the name of the user so I'll write here user 55 okay notice that user 55 doesn't exist okay now let's say I didn't provide here any password so I'm not going to write any string here I'm simply going to hit the enter okay so as soon as I hit enter it is giving me the password should be greater than zero so this particular condition get fault and this particular block of code is executed okay and at the end this line gets executed okay so one thing that i didn't like here is that after hitting the enter this line should come in the next line okay so for that you can use the dash e option of echo okay so if you see here if you want to enable the interpretation of backlash characters that is slash n like characters then you have to use the dash e option right now in our script what i am going to do after writing the password i'll use here dash e option okay and i'll write here slash n same with here that is dash e option with slash n here okay now if the password length is greater than zero then i need to use the command add user then dollar username okay this particular username should be created and then i will give the option as disabled password right and then geckos so in the gecko section i am not writing here anything so it will be completely empty okay and after that i'll redirect our output to the dev and then null okay so that i will not see the output in our screen okay now after i add the user i also need to change the password so for that i will write here echo then dollar username okay this for this particular user we will be changing the password to what value to the user pass value right whatever the user has given the password and this particular input should act as a standard input to the ch password command okay and i'll give here a little space so now our script is complete and i'll save it and i'll execute for different options okay so first of all i'll execute when the user exists okay so i'm simply writing here wiki and then you will see the given user wiki exists in the system execution of a script is completed okay now next let's try with the user that doesn't exist okay so i'm writing here user 60 it is saying the given user user 16 doesn't exist in the system please enter the password okay in that case i'm not writing any password here i'm simply typing the enter okay so you will see the password should be greater than zero and execution of a script is completed okay let's take another example in which the user doesn't exist and the password length given by user is greater than zero okay so if i press enter give the user as user 60 again and now if it will ask me for the password okay so i'll write here user 60 as a password now if i press enter again it will not be able to add the user why because the add user command the pseudo privileges right? so for now what i will do i'll execute our script with the pseudo privileges okay sudo dot slash user right now i'll give here password that is my pseudo password right it will ask me for the username again that is let's say user 60 i'll give the password so i am writing here user 60 it is saying creating password and it has created the user okay along with the password as user 16 whatever i had defined here okay so i can also log in here as su dash l user 60 right and i will give here password as user 16 and i will get successfully login now this was very basic script which is checking that whether a given user exists or not and in case if the user doesn't exist it is creating the user 
right and it is also asking for the password but you can also include other features also for example you can ask the user to write the full name to write the work phone number like that and you can store those value in a variable and then provide in the geckos options okay for example let's say you store the variable in let's say full and then you can write here full okay which will act as a full name then for the work or room number you can store it in a variable that is room okay and then you can provide here i hope you are getting the idea what i'm trying to say right similarly same kind of script you can design if you want to delete a particular user in that case you have to first check that whether a particular user exists or not and if that particular user exists then you can delete it if that user doesn't exist then you can say this particular user doesn't exist so i can't delete this particular user okay the main aim of creating this script was to introduce you with some real world scripting okay as we will move further in this tutorials i will try to bring the real world scripting examples also okay after that you should know about two commands that is true command and false command okay so if i simply write here true it returns me the exit status as zero okay and if i write here false then it returns me exit status as one okay so in our script sometimes when you want the condition to be true always then you can write here true true will return me zero as an exit status code and it will eventually be evaluated as true okay and if you want to use the false then i can write here false itself okay which will again return me a non zero value so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video